I did something that I really didn't think was going to ever happen. And that was changing my major. So for those of you who don't know, I was a biology student here at Emporia State for five semesters. So I came in as a freshman and went to the biology department and was like, I'm gonna major in biology. And I wanted to major specifically with a concentration in ecology and biodiversity. And that basically just means wildlife biology. So I was studying wildlife. I spent five semesters taking all these classes. Four of my semesters were me taking prerequisite classes for the concentration classes that I would take the last two years of my stay here. Ideally, you would graduate in four years, but that doesn't always work out. So I took like general biology, biology of animals, biology of plants, microbiology, chem one, chem two, all the good stuff, right? So I wasted my time in four semesters doing that. And then last semester, I got into my concentration classes. And so my concentration was ecology of biodiversity, like I said. Basically, I'm just studying wildlife, right? Last semester, I was taking aquatics biology and wildlife management. Those were my two concentration classes. And I was also taking biostatistics and a couple gen eds. But anyways, I was struggling last semester. And I was kind of in this, this place where I was like, I don't really know what I want to do after I graduate because I knew I didn't want to be a wildlife biologist. I came to school here wanting to be a game warden, which that went out the window real quick. I don't want to do that anymore. So I was like, you know, maybe outdoor education is what I want to do. And you know, I got to thinking and especially throughout these classes that I was taking, it's not like the classes were like really hard and I just wanted to give up and try something easier. It's just, it wasn't clicking, you know? I, I did well in the labs because it was all hands-on and especially like aquatics biology. I did great in the lab because we were out in the field doing stuff. But when it came to the lecture stuff and taking those tests, it, it just didn't click. So I talked to my parents, especially my mom. Me and my mom are really close. And so I got to talking to her and I was like, I've been saying it, I was saying it for like halfway through the semester. I was like, mom, I kind of want to change my major. So I was like, maybe recreation because I like doing camping stuff and outdoor recreational activities. So I fig figured that'd be a good fit for me. And then I was also thinking of business because you know, YouTube is kind of like a business and I've been doing YouTube for a long time. I've been dealing with a lot of companies and doing things with them. And especially now that I'm working with uh, Luke and we're doing Mally Whacker Outfitter stuff and running our own small business, it just made sense for me to go to the business school. So I changed my major to business administration and it's going really well right now, actually, other than being in classes with a bunch of freshmen but it's clicking, it's making sense. It's all stuff that I understand. Where biology, I wasn't able to memorize 30 scientific names of animals for the next test. This business department, taking these business courses, it's more real world and it's making sense to me. We're going over like econ and in my economics class, we're going over like supply and demand curves. It just makes sense. So. For those of you guys who are in college or thinking about going to college, I would recommend going with what you really think that you wanna do at first, and then you're gonna get all your gen eds out of the way. Like me, I spent so much time in biology that I ended up getting a minor in biological sciences. So that's kind of, it's nice, but I'm also gonna be going an extra year because I changed my major. So, like I said, go with what you like, do what you love, that's like the best advice I can give somebody. And if you're not doing what you love, figure out what it is that you love. And do something that makes sense. Don't stick with something because somebody told you that's what you need to do. Because there's always something that you're gonna be better at than that thing somebody else is telling you to do. Unless that thing somebody's telling you to do is something that you like kick ass out. I don't know, it's kinda hard to explain this type of stuff to a lot of my viewers because they're all like still in high school 
And you know, a lot I've noticed throughout these years where I've been in college and meeting people from all over, it's college isn't like from where I grew up, basically everybody's expected to go off to college. And so now being around other people from different places. I'm realizing that college isn't necessarily something everybody does. And so just my, where I grew up and just kind of the atmosphere where I lived for like my whole life, it was just basically expected that everybody goes to college. If you guys have not already, go check out my second channel. I post fishing and hunting videos on there and some vlogs here and there. So check that out, it's called Kansas Fisherman. Subscribe, and it means a lot when you guys do that. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that red button down there. Then you can stay up to date when I post videos. I've got a Twitter and an Instagram. They're at Cope Junkies. I also have a Snapchat, which is Real Cope Junkies. Add me on there, and I'll add you back. That's all I've got for you guys. I don't know how to sign off these videos anymore, since I'm not doing these dip videos. Bye. <laughs>